I'm your host, Jeff Zart. We're going to take you behind the scenes with the craft distillers who are pouring their heart and soul into crafting the next version of America's Spirit. This is the Great American Whiskey Cookers. So I'm seeing the still behind us. It says still number two. Yes. Where's still number one? Still number one was the experimental still that I built out of a I'm doing this keg of beer uh, with plumbing parts. Yeah. Um, and I had never distilled before. And now we're starting a business. And there are people and yeah. there are, you know, others involved in lives and money and yeah. So uh, God, I probably ought to figure out how to do this first. So I built a still, did some experimenting, and uh, that was still number one. And it was actually just stupid little, you know, 15 and a half gallon beer keg yeah. with a two inch copper column about this tall out of it. As our experimental still, it was our gin still for about seven years. And it was very small. The basket of uh, botanicals was like this big. Okay, so for the camera. I mean, we're talking like two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Yeah, tiny. Okay. And uh, I, I would change the basket every gallon of gin at 170 proof, every gallon of gin that we produced. So it was a very labor intensive thing, almost popping new baskets in. But and how often would you have uh, to do that? Uh, uh, every like 30 minutes, 40 minutes or so. Okay. Whew. But I wanted fresh botanicals going in all the time. So that was how we, that was part of the magic of how, what made our gin so amazing. And there were other distillers that, uh, you know, they can re remain nameless, but I, I, I know that they were kind of like <laughs> Craig at Speardown with his little tiny still. <laughs> That's, what a, what a dummy, you know? <laughs> I mean, he's changing baskets all the time. I think that still generated about I don't know, one and a half, two million dollars in revenue over its life. Pretty good. It, it owes me nothing. It, right. It, it cost, you got your money. It, it cost a couple hundred dollars. Right. Uh, we have a bigger gin still now. But anyway, so that was still number one. That's still, so yeah, then, all the way back to that was still number one. And there's a story behind the, the juniper berries that you use. Yes. Right? For that. So if you're interested in the story on the juniper berries, uh, check out our Patreon page, become a member, and you can see that story. It's yep. really pretty interesting. It's fun stuff. Oh, it was really fun stuff. <laughs> 